Buy the coffee, use the code at the checkout. Don't understand why this woman just constantly just keeps coming up and up and up and up. And it's just a new thing after new thing after new thing. And it makes me think this either has to be the most evil genius type person in America, or she lives in a town of complete and utter unmitigated dumbasses. Because in no way under the sun should anybody constantly, damn near on a week to week basis, have a new thing coming up. Residents demand Dalton Dictator, great nickname, Tiffany Henyard, terrible name, resign over sex assault embezzlement scandal, and she's been labeled the worst mayor in America. And that is no small feat. A mob of furious Illinoisans. Illinoisians, Illinoisans, demanded on Monday that self-described super mayor Tiffany Henyard resign from her post as the Dalton dictator battles simultaneous sexual assault and money embezzlement scandals. The village of Dalton's monthly board meeting delved into chaos as a swarm of at least 100 people banged on the doors as dozens of others testified against Henyard, leading the four trustees to walk out. You know what you're doing, you're violating our rights, and that's a shame. How long have you lived in Dalton? 38 years. Have you ever not been able to get into Village Hall? Not one time. Not one time. Yet another surprise for residents of South Suburban Dalton who now say they can't get into their own Village Hall. This after some residents were locked out of a Village Board meeting last night. The Village is blaming safety concerns, but residents are pointing the finger at embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Tonight, our Dane Placco has the latest controversy from Dalton. And then I went to reach for the doors. You can't go in. Wait a minute. No offense. Y'all do know this is a government building. Dalton resident Cheryl Hill used her cell phone to document what happened when she tried to get some paperwork at Dalton's Village Hall last week. So what you mean? Why people can't come in there? Yeah. Why people can't come in there? New security procedures went into effect last week. The village says in response to threats against controversial Mayor Tiffany Henyard and village employees. It used to be the Dalton residents who needed to take care of a bill or a license perhaps would walk in the main entrance right here. And then they would go into this common area where you'd see the service desks back there. But now it's all locked right here. Excuse me? Now residents have to talk to a security guard behind a window in the vestibule and conduct their business in that small cramped area. Young lady showed up earlier this morning, went in and was totally upset. She had no idea that she could not go into the building. Just the foyer had to do her paperwork standing outside in the rain. We are being treated as the resident, I say we, as, as though we were in prison in our, in our own town, in a place where we pay taxes. That message of exclusion amplified last night when about 25 Dalton residents were locked out of a village board meeting as those inside blasted Henyard during public comment. I wouldn't trust this woman if she stood on a stack of Bibles and had her tongue notarized. Not a damn thing she says comes out her mouth is true. The meeting ended early when four opposition trustees walked out, saying there was ample room for the crowd and refusing entry to all would violate the Illinois Open Meetings Act. Well, the meeting was adjourned because we have to have enough space, so we have to, the Open Meetings Act requires that, the, uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. As you just saw, is chaos amongst our four trustees. They didn't come here to handle the business. They came here to do a political theater stunt, which you just saw. As for the decision to lock the doors on Village Hall, a Henyard spokesperson blames, quote, threats of violence as a result of the continuous misinformation portrayed by the media and Internet bloggers who are using Dalton as a means to generate ratings and revenue. Our staff and elected officials have received several disturbing communications via email, social media, phone calls, and visitors from across the country. As such, our security protocols have changed. But residents we talk to believe the mayor is highly 
hiding behind a security threat to keep them out of her business. Because she have a lot of things she have to hide. She have to account for uh, the money that's been spent. Four trustees who voted in favor of the investigation into Hyatt said the move was a violation of their constituents' right to participate in the meeting and walked out in protest, a decision Hyatt chastised as only adding to the chaos. Our job is to make sure that we take care of business and not allow the business to handle us. What a great testimony from somebody who is an embarrassment to their own village. Henyard's three-year tender has been plagued by corruption accusations, which ramped up in recent weeks after she admitted to a two million deficit with Dalton owing more than $407,000 for street paving and another $400,000 for tree trimming services. The board of trustees accused her of funding the estimate by millions and covering up a personal expenses she made using the village's money. Why can't we have transparency with what's going on with our tax dollars? A question many individuals who have to deal with taxes always tend to ask. Henyard is also facing a sexual harassment and retaliation complaint by a former employee who accused the mayor of firing her after claiming she was sexually assaulted during a work trip in Las Vegas last year. You know what happened in Vegas. You know what happened, and you should be addressing it. The other big story tonight may be the most chaotic meeting yet in troubled South Suburban Dalton. Nate Rogers sorting out another confrontation involving the mayor, the board, and the public. Nate. Yeah, guys, this Board of Trustees meeting ended early tonight with four trustees actually walking out abruptly. The village clerk left early as well. First, I want to paint a picture of what all we were able to experience. It was very chaotic and to be quite honest with you, frankly honest with you, it was even scary at times for those of us that were inside of the meeting. There were folks banging on the windows and doors of the village hall. I'm um, about 100 residents showed up at the meeting tonight, but only 42 residents were allowed inside. Um, they had to walk through metal detectors and they were wanded down. Um, before I take you inside of the meeting, I want you to listen to what happened outside first. But at least the majority of the people in Dalton should be able to think like the mayor does. She's scary. She's absolutely scary. Why can't we get in our public building to have meetings? Why are meetings being canceled? Uh, why can't we have transparency? What's going on with our tax dollars? Several residents calling on Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard to resign. She's been criticized for mismanaging village funds and dividing the Board of Trustees. The meeting comes amid a sexual harassment and retaliation complaint against Hinyard. A former employee says she was sexually assaulted during a work trip in Las Vegas last year. The complaint says the employee was disoriented and unsure how she woke up inside a village trustee's hotel room. When she woke up about the former employee's claims, she was re when she spoke up, excuse me, about the claims she was retaliated against, she says, and later fired. The FBI is now looking into village practices. You know what happened in Vegas. You know what happened. And you will not, you should be addressing it, saying something to the residents about it. I have cancer. Of course I do. Tiffany stole money from a cancer foundation. How dare you? How dare you steal? And I helped you with your campaign. How dare you steal from us? I had to buy my wigs. Are you going to reimburse me for the wigs that I've been spending my money on? And they say that you're the worst mayor in America. I agree. Now, no one is in custody and no charges have been filed following that former employee's complaint. Also, the trustee accused was absent from tonight's meeting. Residents said we should, um, residents said that, that trustees should resign as well. Um, residents also wore blue ribbons in support of victims of sexual abuse. Now, back out here live, just a little bit more on background. We've learned that this was the first time that metal detectors were used. The acting police chief 
saying that they received credible threats even today about this meeting, and that's why folks were taken through metal detectors and wanded down. Again, four out of their six trustees did leave the meeting early. Uh, Mayor Tiffany Hinger did criticize those board of trustees for leaving, saying that she really wanted to accomplish some of the business of the village, and as a result, she was unable to do so. The mayor has denied all accusations of wrongdoing, claiming last month that a storm of allegations is nothing more than the smear campaign to oust a female politician. Because of course, we gotta pull cards. We can't never just say, yeah, got this going on. And when this happened, it was bad. And the person who did this has been shamed. This is the same woman who hired someone who is unqualified to a position where they're going door to door. And when I tell you, even though we already know about it, when I tell you the neighborhood was concerned, that's a fucking understatement. Get this bitch the fuck out of here. Because this has just been a complete disaster. This article says three years. I've only known about this chick for a few months. And she's just been a repeated PR nightmare to whatever, to whatever credibility could last in any framework of this city. And I think what's even funnier is that when she was trying to do PR, she said she was making a podcast to fight back against all this. I can't fucking wait. I can't fucking wait to hear about how apparently you go on a trip that's mirrored in a bunch of controversy because you probably wasn't even supposed to be there to begin with and you was using people's money to fund that. And apparently somebody got assaulted and you coming back like nothing happened, all cheery. You're just trying to take down a female politician. Y'all are black. You can't do nothing like this. Stop. Get the fuck out of there. You are an embarrassment, an objective embarrassment to what it means to be a leader of a community and to politics. Politics was already a joke, let's be honest. But you're making it even more of a joke with how bad you're doing this. Lori Lightfoot wasn't this bad. The new mayor of Chicago ain't this bad. The mayor of New Orleans isn't this bad or Louisiana is this bad. You are a daytime television episode every week. It's something new. So I don't know if this chick is ever gonna see this, but if you do, let me, as an outsider who lives nowhere near Dalton County, speak for everybody in Dalton. You're a fucking embarrassment. You're an objective failure. You need to be nowhere near politics. It ain't got nothing with, to do with you being a woman or you being a female or you being black. Whatever self-identifies you want to put on yourself as a way to shield from criticism. It ain't got nothing to do with any of that. It has to do with the fact that every fucking week, it's a new thing that doesn't help you or help the community. It hinders you. And the fact that they are pushing to get you out and to have the FBI look into you and you doing backdoor deals to make sure that shit don't happen speaks to the values of how unqualified you are for that fucking job. And I hope maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe in the next day, I hope it don't take too long to finally get you to fuck up out of there because fuck you are embarrassing.